Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Ew, that sounded so much like 2018. Let's rewind. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome, I told y'all, y'all are getting a video whenever I can make a video. And well, today I miraculously found the time within my very, very busy week to find a video. I mean, this week has been crazy. The last two weeks have been so, so crazy. I was gonna do an album review on Harry Styles' album, Harry's House. If you still want it, I'll give it to you guys. But I was gonna do that review, and I, this was gonna be the video I was gonna upload, but I was like, you know what? It's a little too late to do that review, <laughs> no. But if you still want it, I'll give it to you guys. I'll give it to you guys. But today, I wanted to do an updated makeup routine video because, believe it or not, I know, it's shocking. Little old natural me is shocking. My makeup routine has changed since the last time I did like a get ready with me or like a makeup routine kind of video. So a lot has changed and my makeup routine has changed quite a lot. I've learned a lot more. I've become more well versed. I've become more knowledgeable on everything. So, you know, I will say I have a greater understanding of what I like to put on my face and I have a greater understanding of how I like for my face to look like every time I put on makeup. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to give you guys a full face of nothingness. I mean, this video is pretty much a waste of time because my face is going to look the same when I'm done. <laughs> it's going to look the same. But you know what? I notice the difference and I notice the beauty in it. So that's what matters. Anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the makeup. Let's get on with the beauty. This is such a basic makeup look, but it takes so long to do it sometimes. So we'll see how long this takes. So I've actually gotten into the habit of skipping prime over the last few weeks because well over the last few weeks I've been obsessing over the Jones Road what the foundation I absolutely love this foundation and in fact I haven't even touched my other foundations since I bought this one like I'm serious like I've had to force myself to use my other foundations to not use this one because I really do like this one and I said this in my review and I said this on TikTok as well but like I've been wanting a product like this for such a long time and it just came and it's just meant to be. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're not gonna do any primer because with that particular foundation, you don't necessarily need primer. And yes, I am unzipping a dead carcass. I'm kidding. Um, I'm unzipping my brush that I use for this foundation, which is the Chanel Touch Up Face Brush in number 104. As you can see, it is very, very loved. And I use it with this particular foundation only. And what I love about this brush is that it just blends everything smoothly. Hopefully this has not separated again. Okay, so the foundation separated. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna just give it a little nice shake. We're gonna really blend everything in. Okay, it's mixed. <laughs> oh, girl, it's swept, girl. And oh, a lot came here. Okay, so we got it. We nailed it. Oh, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I absolutely love it. By the way, I'm looking at a mirror right now because I've discovered that with these kind of videos, I definitely need a mirror or else it just does not come out right. I will say over the last few weeks, I've been seeing more and more people really understand this product and kind of start to praise this foundation, which I absolutely love because people are starting to understand the philosophy of Jones Road and sort of the lifestyle that Bobby Brown leads in terms of makeup and the kind of makeup she does and she creates on other people and on herself as well. And it just seems like a breath of fresh air that people are not bashing a product because it doesn't align with how they use makeup. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. And what I love about this foundation, which I think I said it in the review, it just feels very, very moisturizing. Like when I'm putting it on my forehead, I feel like something cool and fresh on my forehead, which works really well today because it's hot out today. And there we go with the foundation. As you can see, I look the same. Now I'm going to take the Jones Road Face Pencil in the shade 14, which is a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone. And I use this as a concealer, as a little spot corrector, which today I'm definitely going to need because I have a few spots here and a few spots here that I want to conceal and cover up. I'm obsessed with this. I love it. And actually, this is the point of my makeup where I kind of do my best to not need the help of tools. So I like to use like my own fingers to blend this specific product in. How have you guys been? Let me know in the comment section how have you been? 
how's everything, how's the family, how's the children, how's the husband, how's the wife, let me know everything, the world has been crazy since the last time I did a video, which was precisely on the Jones Road Foundation, um, Johnny Depp won his lawsuit case, which everyone's up in arms about that, everyone has different opinions on it, and everyone seems to not necessarily agree with the outcome of it. I'm just gonna keep it hush hush just because I know people are not gonna like my opinion on it. People are not gonna like what I have to say. Um, I'm just gonna say nothing. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not even gonna try to be neutral. I'm not even gonna try to say anything. I'm just gonna keep quiet. I'm just gonna keep it hush hush. I will say this, which I feel like is a neutral statement to make. It's crazy that this was televised over the course of six weeks. I mean, this was six long weeks. I lived a whole lifetime in between when this trial started and when it ended. I mean, life changed a lot between those six weeks. So it's crazy that, you know, these two people were in this same situation for the past six weeks, whereas I, you know, my life went upside down and then a right side up and then upside down again over that course as well. I mean, it's insane. Now we're gonna do a little bronzer with the Rare Beauty bronzer, which this is so loved and used. I don't even know what the shade of this is, but it's the third shade. That's what I do know, it's the third shade. And yeah, it's like this and I have to lift it up like this. So, one, two, three, when I do the Jones Red Foundation, I don't like to add a lot of bronzer. And then I go in with the Sephora Pro 80 bronzer brush just to stipple it on the skin, diffuse it a little bit. And what I like about, oh, <laughs> what I like about this Jones Road foundation is that everything that I put on top of it just melts in with the foundation. I mean, it just, it's almost kind of undetectable. The bronzer kind of becomes undetectable. And oh, I love it. You see? I love it. Anyways, next cheek. I kind of miss the chaotic times of 2019 YouTube, by the way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, 2019 YouTube was definitely in a league of its own. I mean, it was probably one of the most explosive times to be on the internet for so much drama to be going on, for so many cancellations, for so many things going on. And now YouTube is like very, very silent in terms of drama. Like now when it comes to drama, you'll hear Trisha Paytas offended somebody like every like other three, four months. I mean, she's pregnant now, God bless her. But like, you know, you'll see her like get into drama every three, four, five, six months before it used to be every week. And then you would see the notable people be in drama every week. Now it's like every now and then. It's crazy how things have changed and how kind of like PG YouTube is now. Because I remember back in the day in 2013, it used to be like crazy, crazy and like, people would do borderline porn on the website and now nobody does that now everyone's like come like come shopping with me to the grocery store or like come help me clean my laundry room or like my closet or like come help me stroll the baby down the park like it's crazy just how how tame we've all become now i'm gonna go in with the jones brow shimmer face oil this video just feels like i've been sponsored by bobby brown i have not been sponsored by bobby brown in fact bobby brown if you're watching this video sponsor me Put me in the PR list. I am the face of Jones Road. I mean, I love this brand so much. I will say, if I could, and I saw this TikTok, I think it was a TikTok or was it a Reddit post? Somebody posted, if you could only buy from two makeup brands for the rest of your life, which would it be? And I think I know which two brands I would shop from for the rest of my life. And that is Jones Road and Westman Atelier because they both follow sort of the same philosophy that I like in makeup. And that's like your skin, but better. We don't want you to look like you're wearing makeup. We want it to look like your skin. We just want to perfect it. We just want to perfect the beauty that's already there. And that's what I love. So if I were to buy from two brands, Jones Road, West Atelier. Oh my God, that's a lot of highlight. <laughs> that's a lot of highlight, okay. Okay, we're gonna have a very blinding highlight kind of day today. So like the eye, I think it's eye safe. We'll find out if it's eye safe. It's an oil, we'll find out. <laughs> We will find out if this thing is eye safe or not. But yeah, oh girl, that's a lot. That's too much. That is way too much. By the way, if you hear any weird noise, there's construction being done in my house right now. And it's gonna be done for the rest of the year. But I don't like using powder with this foundation, by the way. I don't like using powder with it just because like when I use powder with this foundation, at least the powder that I use, I use the Chanel Le Beige 
Healthy Glow Sheer Powder or the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder. But when I use them, it looks like I'm wearing makeup. Whereas when I don't use it, it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup. But I might have to do just like a tiny bit. Or, actually, I came up with the idea I'm a genius that I use to dilute it just a little bit. It's perfect. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. 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 Now I'm going to go in with the Nude Sticks Matte Blush in the shade Cherie, which I know what you're thinking. Why are you using Nude Sticks? I know. A friend of mine really put me on the bandwagon of Nude Sticks, and she was like, you're going to like this. It's really good. And, you know, it's like, okay, ring it up, sis. <laughs> and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. Again, a friend of mine recommended me this. I love it. I generally do love it. She's really good at recommending things. I don't want it to be too intense today. I just want like a teeny wee bit of blush. Some dainty amount of blush. We're not going out anywhere special. I'm just gonna go. I'm literally just gonna go to the farmer's market today. That's literally all I'm doing. So we're not doing anything special. We just wanna look refreshed. We wanna look as Lisa Renna would say, fresh as a daisy. That's how I wanna look like today. Anyways, we've done the face, we're done with the face, now we're gonna do the eye stuff. We're gonna do the eye stuff, we're gonna do all the fun stuff, so I'm gonna go in, starting with my Westman Atelier Bone Brow, Brow Defining Pencil, which is probably one of my favorite brow pencils that I've ever tried before, and I've tried very, very few brow pencils, so I don't, I'm not really one qualified to say what's good or not. I've only used the Lancome Brow Pencil, which was shit. The Boy de Chanel Brow Pencil, I did like, although I kind of felt myself having to tug and pull at my brows in order for there to be pigment. This one, butter, like butter on the brows. I'm not even kidding. When I first tried it at Credo, oof, the intense pigmentation, just one soft, very, very soft swipe, butter. Okay, and I just fill in where I need to. I also just make my brow just a little longer with this. So I just drag out just a little bit, fill her in, fill her up. And then going back with this, I love that this is like this, by the way. I love that the brush is detachable. I don't know why, but there's just something luxe. There's something chic about this. West, Gucci Westman is a chic lady. What more can I say? There we go. Oh, look at that brow. I will say both brands that I would shop from every day give me a different kind of effect. Jones Road gives me like this like on the go New York girl who like works in finance and just wants to look good every day. Westman Atelier gives me this like Parisian chic girl who like takes her time to look beautiful every day. She has the time and the money to really be high maintenance. And that's the beauty of both brands. There we go. Look at those brows. Oh, they just make the face. They just make the face. Now I'm going to go in with something a little more unique, a little more interesting. It's not going to be too basic here. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going to go in with the Byredo color stick, which I know what you're thinking. Byredo has makeup. Yes, they do. This is the Byredo color stick in the shade Colio Patera. I think that's how you say it. Colio Terra. Colio Patera. I don't know how you say it, but that's how I say it, the Colio Patera. And what I love about this is that, as you can see, it's like a brown color, but when you put it on the eyes, it has this like blue reflective shimmer. And I do a sheer amount. I don't do crazy amount, I do a sheer amount. So, just two swipes, that's all. I don't know if you'll be able to see the shine, but, and then just like rub it all over my eye. That sounds wrong. I press it into the eye. Good. I'm not gonna lie, these by Radle color sticks are not good for a long wear time. <laughs> I am not, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, they're not good if you want like a long wear, stays all day, like eyeshadow stick. These are not it, because I've tried other ones. I tried the shade Destroyer, which is like this matte black, which I know what y'all thinking. When are we gonna see you with matte black eyeshadow? Very soon. But, um, in the time that I tried it, it, it does not. It does not say put. I don't know if it's because I'm not doing eye primer or what, but it just does not say put. But anyways, that's all I'm going to do for Colio Patera. And as you can see, it's just pretty. It's just a nice, pretty cut. I like it. <laughs> I think this is going to be it. I think this is the finishing touch. Again, construction in the house. Um, this is the Kiara Weiss, the Impossible, Impossible Mascara. And I actually got this for free 
at Credo because I spent a hefty amount there one day and they were giving a free gift with purchase and well, it just, the odds stacked in my favor. I can't really use any mascara because every mascara I've used in the past has burned my eyes, they've irritated my eyes. I remember I tried the new MAC Stack Mascara, burned my eyes. Chanel Mascara, burned my eyes. I even went the like old Luxe Sprout of Lancome and Estee Lauder, they both burned my eyes. But this one and the Rare Beauty one, they work incredible for my lashes. I do want to try the Victoria Beckham. Future Lash Mascara. I think that's about it. I think that's it, yeah. I don't think I really need to do anything else. I think that's about it. I look good. I feel good. As you can see, it was good. I look good. I feel good. I'm about to smell good too because I'm going to put on the Le Vuitton Matière Noire fragrance I have, which is a very deep and dark, smoky kind of fragrance, which I don't know. You know what I'm thinking about? I don't even know I should wear it today because it's a very hot day. I don't know about a deep, dark, and smoky fragrance. We might do Henry Rose. I might do Henry Rose today, but anyways, I look good. And I like this look. I think it went really well. Kind of like every day. <laughs> It's the same look every day, guys. Same look every day. You see one makeup routine of mine, you've seen them all. But I do definitely want to upload more makeup videos because there's a lot of exciting makeup releases coming along very, very soon. I mean, Gaga's coming back with House Labs at Sephora. I definitely want to try some of their products. Also, Westman Atelier came out with their powder brush as well. Hermes has a foundation only available in the UK at Selfridges, so I definitely want to try that as well. Pat McGrath just announced her Divine Blush Duos, even though I have one too many blushes, but still, you know, we're going to try it all. We're going to try it all for YouTube. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts and opinions. What do you want to see? What do you want to see from me? Let me know. Let me just put everything back that I put away for this video. Anyways, and if you're new here, hello, welcome. Subscribe. I'd love to see you back here. A lot of exciting things coming your way very, very soon. I've got a lot of things to discuss, and I've got a lot of things to do very, very soon. So definitely stick around and definitely stay tuned because things are going to get very, very exciting very soon. I can't emphasize how soon. Anyways, have a good day. Goodbye.